Okay, let's get started here since uh, I want to run this thing on time. A um, couple of things I want people to be aware of. There is a Q&A uh, part in Zoom. If you've never attended Zoom webinars, um, there is a Q&A there. You can ask questions along the way. I will, it depends upon what questions they are. Uh, I may hold off till the end, or I may just sort of stop appropriate uh, times and and uh, answer questions along the way. But either way, they'll get answered. Um, so thanks again for joining me uh, for this webinar, res stream, just kind of talking about our systems and uh, services here. So let me get this started. Uh, just what I plan on covering today, just introduction on me, uh, introduction to res stream, and then I do plan on kind of doing a live demo of kind of the booking process, backend software. Uh, we'll recap it and then offer, uh, offer up a special offer at the end. So just a little bit about me. I have over 15 years experience. Gosh, it might be inching up towards 20 now. Uh, working with small to medium-sized independent properties. So, um, you know, smaller anywhere from one unit to to a hundred, but uh, the vast majority are you know under that 50, uh, 50 room, 50 unit uh, time period. So born, raised, reside in Minnesota. I love the Vikings. So uh, draft night tonight. So looking forward to that. I love, I'm in Minnesota. So hopefully at some point it's gonna turn into summer. <laughs> We're still waiting for that, but love getting outdoors. And the more time I can spend on the golf course, uh, the better. So a little bit about RevStream. Since 2005, uh, we worked with thousands of small to medium-sized properties. Uh, we really want to focus on working with our customers. Uh, education is huge for us. Support is huge for us. We are a small company, um, just like pretty much all of our uh, you know, customers are. And we'd like to view ourselves as an extension of your team. So, you know, we cost money, of course, but it's, it's almost like having additional employees uh, on staff there. Uh, have over a hundred years of combined experience. We should probably redo that. We could probably get closer to 200. Uh, and we focus on, on a suite of solutions, even though this is mainly gonna be focused on like the software, we actually do offer uh, other services as well. Um, so yeah, so it's called Growing Your Hotel Operations with the Cloud PMS. First thing I like to talk about is the guest journey. This is kind of how like we like to present, uh, you know, what's happening, right? So there's people in the world that are hitting, you know, Google's the number one thing, search engines, searching for a place to stay, right? So there is that aspect of it. And, um, you know, that includes marketing, SEO, pay-per-click, meta search, all of that good stuff. Once you find those qualified visitors and direct them to your website, hopefully uh, steer them away from OTAs. Um, you know, we do website stuff so we can uh, have an ADA accessible website, fast, responsive. Uh, and then really, like I said, I'm gonna focus on once they're on your website, how do we get them to get into your booking engine to make the reservation? And then from there, it kind of flows into your software. Um, which I will show, and that's kind of how you manage your reservation. So uh, with that, let's get started with the demo. Like I said, I like to focus on the website part first. So this is kind of what your guests. So hopefully you've done a good job with marketing, uh, getting them to your website. I like to show kind of the three different ways we work with websites. So again, I mentioned we do we do websites as well, but even if you don't have one of our websites, all of these are available to any website. So number one is obviously, you know, the check availability or book online or some sort of button uh, that pretty much most properties have. The second thing we always put in ours is a, what we call a quick booking widget. This In this theme, it happens to kind of be right here front and center where people can click on dates they're interested in. And then the third way, and kind of unique to RevStream, I like to show this, 
is if people are browsing around on your website, um, and by the way, I'm showing this is like a, a hotel type property. Uh, so this is this kind of looks like room types, but we can also do you know by room as well. And I'll talk more about that. But so if they're kind of interested, like, oh, what's more about the, the the double queen here? So they're on their website, scrolling through photos, checking things out, see the amenities. We actually have the uh, ability to do individual unit or unit type count. So really, this um, calendar is the availability for these double queen rooms. And you can actually click on an arrival, click on a departure, and start the booking engine process for this specific unit or unit type right from this page. So I know a lot of companies out there make it where they might even, if they do show availability, they basically, when they hit this button, it just routes them to their main booking engine. And then they really have to just try to find this unit or unit type anyway. So, so those are the three different ways I want to cover. I'm going to go back to the number one here, which is kind of the booking engine. One thing you're going to notice right off the bat is we theme our booking engines to match your website. That means, you know, headers, logos. That also means the color of these things. So uh, fun fact, I'm colorblind, so I'm not even going to say what colors these are. But if you don't like them, just know that whatever colors you're seeing here for you, it would just match whatever colors you're using on your website. So I like to talk about the three components of the booking engine here. Number one um, is optional. So this is just an example. You can have a custom message that you can modify at any point in time. Uh, display on the top of the booking engine. I made it you know here. You can change you no know, fonts, colors, everything with that. Uh, and then I like to talk about the bottom section here too, because this is also optional. So the custom message is optional. This bottom portion is optional as well. This is a full availability calendar. And again, I'm showing by unit type, but if you have a smaller property and you book by individual room, these would be the individual rooms here. And then you can even go as far as if you want to show this calendar, but not show the rates here, we have that option as well. So lots of flexibility there. Uh, and then of course, this is the, the main part, right? So the, when do I want to come? person can come in, hit their check in, um, automatically goes to the check out. And if they want to change, you know, maybe I want to book two rooms or I need, uh, you know, more adults, more children. We have this as an option. Some people have multiple locations. They kind of run one booking engine. So you could filter um, that. And then again, you could filter for ADA accessible units. So in the software, you can mark certain units as ADA accessible. So they might do a query there. And then of course we do allow promo codes. So you could set up some rates for whatever time period with promo codes and they could enter them and uh, you know search for promo code. But I'm gonna do a, uh, just a basic search here for the fifth, leaving on the seventh, hitting search. And what it's gonna do is return uh, what's available. So. Uh, some some other cool things here. This is by unit type again. If you do that, you can have a threshold here where it starts saying, "Oh, only four rooms left." Um, you know, or if it was an individual room. But again, here you'll see nice, beautiful pictures that people can scroll through. Um, the rate. This is an example of a king suite. I only put one rate in there. It's kind of the only option. Um, versus, I like to display scrolling down here the double queen. I also put like a triple eight rate. So. So we have different options for multiple rates that um, they can click on and select. So uh, again, you would just say, all right, let's book that room. And then this part is also optional. So we allow packages and add-on items. So things like, you know, romance packages, things like that. And then also extras, right? So you could, you know, you could put a crib on here, put a zero dollars or something like, oh, I'm gonna just, offer late checkouts um, and put a price on that. And then finally here, it's making the reservation. So you come in and uh, book. I'm gonna just put some information in here. Um, and then whatever your deposit policy is here, it'll display. So take note over here on the right, we always like to keep this sort of you know front and center so even when i'm scrolling down we like to show that so you know avoid any confusion anything like that 
Um, sorry, I always get silent when I'm typing in a credit card number because this is Visa's test number four followed by 15 ones. So I'm gonna choose an expiration here, uh, security code. This part is optional. So you can choose to ask them additional questions. So, you know, you want extra pillows or you know whatever it is, uh, license plate number, again, you get to choose that. And then finally, other terms and conditions. We put it in a nice scroll box here rather than putting it in that link that nobody clicks on. Um, this also kind of helps. We worked with kind of Visa and MasterCard on this. This helps with chargebacks. So we don't, you know, they have to click this box saying that they've at least read and agreed. And I, I like to show, you know, the ability to have things be read and draw attention to certain things if you really want to make sure they they read it. Um, you know, you can do things like that. But then we book it, right? So the final step is is booking that process. Um, from here on a normal demo, I would typically say, all right, now it's booked. Now what happens, right? There's lots of different things that can happen with, as far as communication with that guest. Uh, one thing that automatically happens is they will get a confirmation letter. You get to fully customize that confirmation letter. Look however you want it to look, say whatever you want it to say. Um, from there, we also have you know, multiple different you know, guest messaging options as well. Um, and just due to the, the timing of this particular webinar, I won't be able to cover all of that. I will touch on some things there. But. So what happens after that, as far as you're concerned, is I'm going to flip right over into the back end of the software. Um, this is Redstream Cloud. So you'll see the different sections over here on the left, uh, which you can navigate, click on uh, anything here. I also just want to show what happens when I got that new reservation. It's pretty much instantaneous, but this little bell jingle, I have a one. Um, on the dashboard here, we have a recent reservations widget that will also show me just the, all the most recently made reservations, um, how it was made. You know, it could show canceled if it's coming from an OTA, et cetera. But the dashboard really is designed to just give you an overall view of kind of what's going on today. So you'll see on the left-hand side, it's all of your reservations touching today, meaning you might have arrivals today, people that are checked in and staying over, people that are leaving today, if you happen to have any no-shows, if you've got any units marked out of service, they're kind of all listed here. What's really cool is we like to show a lot of information without sort of taking up a lot of room here. So you'll notice the name. This unit technically is still dirty. Um, it has the unit number on here, their days, this little dollar bill, the color of that dollar bill indicates their payment status. If they were booked online or anything, it has a certain logo. So lots of information there. But when you click on them, you get to see even more. So now I get to see you know, their charges, their payments, their balance. I can go through a check-in wizard, I can email or print any type of you know, registration card or invoice or letter. We do have uh, POS options. So if somebody's staying over, this happens a lot on the stayovers, but they you know, buy something from the gift shop or something, uh, you can add POS charges right down to their invoice, make payment, et cetera. So that's kind of this area. There are some cool things you can do. Some people nowadays don't even do checkouts. They basically at, you know, whatever, 11 a.m., they just mark everybody as checked out. So we have this feature where you can do, you know, select all of the arrivals and check them all in, or all of the departures and check them all in, et cetera. Top right here on the dashboard is called shared notes. I like to explain this almost like a post-it note. This is just for internal staff communication. So think of, um, you know, you change your Wi-Fi password and you just kind of want to make sure all the staff knows about that. So you can uh, put the password here. Um, oh, we just started a promotion starting October 5th, you know, hand out flyers. So again, these are just kind of anything you might consider putting on a post-it or putting down on a note on your desk. It's right there. We have a task manager, pretty simple task manager, but you come in, create a task, put a due date on it. You can actually assign it a user of the system. So I am actually signed in. So my name is bold, but then unassigned tasks will also show 
And again, this is like a to-do list, like I can cross things off, right? So I went up to room 104, got it, marked it complete, then that goes away. So just kind of crossing things off that to-do list. The recent reservations widget, I kind of covered that. These are just the most recently made reservations, which I can easily just click in here and uh, view that reservation. And then this is a what we call key items. Now, some people use this, other people don't. You know, how I'm showing it here is for like packages, right? So what this is designed to do is if you do packages or add on items, you can label those things as key items. And this is just gonna always look for the coming week. And this summary tab is gonna give you a summary of that, right? So this week, I'm gonna need three dozen roses, three bottles of champagne and one crib. Now we can even go into the daily details and it gives me a breakdown of, oh, today I'm gonna need this. I can click on these and even see, oh, it's from Josh, needs a romance package. He's staying in this unit. Um, so that's kind of that. The final thing I'll show here on the dashboard is the settings button. So this is customizable. You can you know, move things around. If you feel like you're not gonna use certain things, you can hide that widget. Uh, so you can really customize it. You'll notice I do have a couple of other widgets hidden. Um, like a recent gift certificates I have hidden, uh, email delivery history I have hidden. Uh, but again, lots of cool things you can customize there. Um, here's where I also kind of want to talk about some of that guest messaging, right? So people are coming in, arriving today, and a lot of, a lot of folks nowadays are looking for more contactless options, things at their fingertips, especially with the phones. Uh, I was wondering how I could demo this. So what I did is I just kind of recorded a screen share of like an example of, you know, something you could send out the morning of their arrival, right? So I'm just going to play this. This is actually a screen of my phone. Uh, a text would come in. You can put whatever message you want on there um, and it would have a link. And again, you'll notice Aki on here. This is all powered by Aki. We have an integration with them. So you can build a really nice, cool looking, customized registration card. It gives a recap of the reservation. Um, they have to review certain things. You can even collect different items here if you want, but they agree, have to click and agree and they can sign with their finger, um, hit submit. And then that actually just sends it, um, you know, to your Akia system and it gets stored. Uh, the other cool thing I like to show with this guest experience app is you can build a really cool, you know, custom guidebook here. So, you know, a scenario might be where they filled out the registration card, right? And then maybe at noon that day, um, you want to send them like a, a custom guidebook. So you can create these things. They're called mini apps and you get to customize it. You put in your, you know, your pictures, you can have different sections like activities, things to do in the area, dining, and you'll see it's branded like you, right? So it's it's your logo, it's all of your information. So it's it's like an it's like your app, but without having to have build an app. So it's really cool. And, and I also like to share that too with this point. So moving back to the system, uh, the next section down is called the occupancy map. Now before I do this, um, I do know that there's people that recently joined and um, we do have a Q&A. So if you, if you want to submit questions, you can do that. I'm going to actually submit a, a poll here. I would really appreciate it if people filled this out just to give me an idea. Um, you know, what's going on this year? What are your struggles? What are people seeing out there? Uh, this is all just kind of stuff I would. I like to, you know, not pry, but just, you know, hear what's going on. That kind of helps me understand, you know, who I'm talking to and, and uh, what their issues they face. I'll leave this on the screen here for another 30 seconds or so to allow people to fill this out. I would, again, I would certainly appreciate uh, anything you can share. It'd be great. Of course, you don't have to, but uh, if you would, I would. Appreciate it. All right, about another 10 seconds. All 
All right. Looks like we are good. So I appreciate that. Um, I just like to collect that data. So, all right. Going back to the demo here, this is called our occupancy map, right? So, you know, tape chart, whatever you want to call it, it would list your rooms downside, dates across top, reservations here in the middle. And unlike what I showed you for the website, this is more by unit, but you can display it by unit type as well. Uh, I just kind of like to show the differences here. So this is by unit. Um, and the reservations here are all, you know, rooms down the side, dates cross top, reservations in the middle. By default, they're color coded by payment status. And on my screen, you're going to see red indicates no payment. Yellow indicates a partial payment, so a deposit. Blue on my screen indicates a full payment. And then you'll notice this other color. And again, for those of you that just recently joined, I am colorblind, so I don't know what color this is, but here's a different color. Uh, we have custom colors, which means you can turn any reservation, any color you want. I'm going to click on this to just also show you. You can click on these reservations, which is really cool. It stays on the calendar. It pops up uh, their kind of a reservation, almost like summary over here on the right. You'll notice this cu custom color indicates they're bringing a pet. So this is just an example. You can build a bunch of different custom colors, have different uh, meanings for those things. Uh, you can also do a lot of things from the calendar here, right? So I showed you the dashboard. You could do check in, check out, all that stuff. You can do all of that stuff right here, right? Check in. And if they were already checked in, um, I'm going to click on this one. I can hit check out, add charges, make payments, you know, email, letter, uh, any type of information there. That I want. The other thing I'll showcase here, optional wait lists that you can enable or disable. So you can kind of hide that. And when there's people on wait list, it'll have the number of people on the wait list. Uh, so if any reservation gets canceled and anyone is on the wait list for that, any day that touches that reservation that you just canceled, it'll pop up the wait list. Uh, so cool things like that. And then the final thing I'll show you here, you'll see that this has a colored background. We have the concept of like events and I'm just gonna sit and hover. You'll notice it says Taylor Swift concert. Uh, but it's, you know, you could do Memorial Day or Fourth of July or, you know, just different things on there to, to remind you, right? So, um, and this is when you build that event, you can have a custom color for that event too. So maybe all your holidays are in red and your concerts are in orange and, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, so. The other thing you can do here is make a reservation. I'm actually going to show you maybe three different ways of making a reservation. And it really is unique to every property and how that, and every call really, how that call goes. So a lot of times people, you know, get a phone call. Hey, I'm just checking to see if you have availability. Um, you can come in here, click on this calendar, hop to whatever day that you want. Um, I can hop to a Friday and then you'll see what's available. If they want a book, we can just click and drag. As soon as I let this mouse button go, it populates my rates, right? So it populates my default rate. If I had different rate options here, I would have a drop down and I could select certain things. This is an example where I have a bunch of them. If you build packages, this is where I could add these packages. You get to determine what this says for guest types. Um, so you can do that. You can override these rates on the fly if you want. You can give them a percentage discount or a dollar amount per night discount. But let's just kind of move through this reservation. So we clicked and dragged. We got the unit. We got the rates. Let's go. All right, who is coming to stay? So as you start typing, it's going to start to filter through your database of people. If they're not in there, you just hit new. Uh, if they've been here before, I can click on them. And now I get to review kind of their profile, right? I can see all their past reservations quickly on the screen, 20 nights they've stayed, uh, seven reservations. These things are called tags. So you get to create your own set of tags. And then just think of it as anything you want to quickly know about a person. So, oh, Jeff has allergies or, um, you know, he's a VIP. There's always the people who want to label them as a pain in the butt or bad guest or something like that. Um, you can do that as well. Um, you know, special notes, you can have anniversary dates, different things like that as well. But I'm going to continue here. 
Uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to hit book without confirmation instead of having to enter a credit card number. Um, and then it's just going to build that reservation. So technically, at this point, the reservation is complete, right? This is when your website will be up to date. If you're working with any OTAs, we send that off and make sure that that's up to date. But now you can do more things on here. Um, you know, number one, you can record a deposit. Uh, or you could just send them a confirmation letter. Hey, thanks, I'm gonna send you a confirmation letter. These are just the different um, options there you can do. So again, this just shows how, you know, you can make it look differently. You have different templates, different emails. And again, you set all this up. So it's really customized. Uh, yeah, and then that reservation is on the screen. I did not record a payment. So then it's gonna be in my screen. So. That's number one. I'll quickly go through the other two. Uh, some people prefer to just, just use this uh, button up here. This is called the wizard, quick reservation wizard. I can hit new reservation. And this is more of like, oh, they wanna come on the 10th, and leave on the 13th, what do I have available? Okay, they wanna add these units, so we can do that. Again, this is an example of like, what would be a group? Um, and then again, you continue and you choose the person and then you go and confirm it. So that's kind of the other way. And then the final way is if anyone attending here is a really small or just has a lot of repeat guests, maybe where you get to know them. So maybe the first thing they do is introduce themselves or like, hey, this is Jeff Hebring. How's it going? You can click on this little uh, person button up here and you can type quickly type in, actually spell or name. Oh, hey, Jeff, how's it going? Um, you can quickly see notes about them, address. Um, oh, you still liking that King Suite? Want another King Suite? You know, <clears throat> if you had tags on here. And then you can start making the reservation and it's automatically selecting your guest already. Um, so just thought I would share that because uh, that's kind of that third option of making a reservation. Um, yeah. And again, I'll kind of give you a little offer at the end to do more of a one-on-one -on -one demo um, to cover everything. Again, I can't really cover everything here uh, in the amount of time that we have here. I'm going to show you the people section. This is basically like your database of people, right? So um, you can do queries. You can just type in, start typing their name, or you can do an advanced search and say, you know, show me everybody. Um, that's from the state of California because you want to do an email campaign, which Ding Ding Redstream can do too. We have an email uh, campaign feature and function that uh, that we offer as well. But you can search, query the database, export that list, import it into an email marketing program, get get a nice email out to those folks. This reservation section here is a listing of all of your reservations. So we kind of have some quick action buttons here. So we could just say just reservations this week or just next week or all my reservations or just current and future. You know, you get the idea. Um, the invoices section. So there's a variety of things people use this for. Um, number one is we have, you know, we have the ability to do retail sales. So like just POS only, if you happen to be a place that People might walk in and buy something from the gift shop that aren't staying with you and you don't really need to collect their name. You can simply add a retail sale and then uh, you know sell them chips or you know whatever it is. You also can attach an invoice to a person. So again, no reservation, but then you at least want to attach it to a person. We have that option as well. But otherwise, this just lists all of your invoices. There are some filters here. Um, so you can do like all active invoices with the balance due. That's more like people that are kind of checked in, arriving uh, with balances due. So there's some filters there. That you can. Gift certificates, if you offer them, I didn't show it, but you can sell gift certificates from your website, it integrates into here. And then of course you can sell them from here. This section was really designed to just give you an overview of the, of the numbers how it really works is on a reservation that becomes a payment type, add payment, oh, they're using a gift certificate, and you know, it would know who purchased it, you know, the gift certificate number, et cetera. Uh, reports. 
I'm not even going to begin to go through a bunch of reports, but I'm going to expand them all. We categorize our reports and then you can favorite things, right? So um, you can come in through and, and favorite different reports. So of course we have like the booking pace, how you're doing this year compared to what you were doing last year, um, revenue, occupancy, you know, year over year statistics, all of that good stuff. What you'll notice here is some of those, most reports actually have these diamond logos. What that means is you can actually subscribe to these reports. So it's really cool. Say there is a report that you always run the first of every month and for the previous months, like taxes or just revenue or whatever it is. You can run this once and then you can subscribe to it and say, hey, I want this one emailed to me at 8 a.m on the first of every month for the previous month's revenue, and I want it in an Excel file, or I want it in a PDF file. Uh, so you can actually just have those delivered to your inbox. You don't even need to run them anymore. So that's really cool. Uh, it saves you a lot of time. And, and uh, in case you forgot to run a report or got busy, uh, you would always have that in there. The configuration section, this is where you set a lot of this stuff up, right? And our wonderful support team for those people that join us, they really help. Um, you know, go through this with you. Uh, if you're coming from a different software program, depending upon which one, we might be importing a lot of this stuff, but otherwise we'd work through and, you know, this is where you put in your deposit policy, your cancellation policy, you know, how do you want to track your revenue, taxes, this is where you build your rates. And again, we can help you get all that kind of structure and set up. We do have a discounts feature that I kind of was doing that for the triple A. You can do promos and promo codes. And if you book by June 30th for stays during August, we'll give you a 10% off. So you can kind of set all that stuff up in here. Um, yield management functions. This is where you can come in and build in some rules. The system will automatically kind of monitor your occupancy levels in whatever time period you want, and it will do certain things to your rates um, from there. And then it, this is where we do tags, people. Letters and templates, again, I kind of showed, talked about how you can customize. You can have as many letters and invoices and stuff set up as you want, but it really, it's like a word processor. So if you've ever used a word processor before, um, you, can, you can use this. I did forget to show you this feature we have too. So Sometimes people want to maybe collect money um, before their stay, like, oh, you know, that could be like to expedite your check-in, why don't you just pay your invoice? So we have this code that you could send a, a, like in a pre-arrival uh, email. And what that does, I'm gonna just switch over into this other screen here. It links them to their reservation data. So this is their reservation with their invoice number. It kind of gives them a recap of you know what room they're staying in, um, their invoice charges, their deposits. Now I do, I don't have credit card processing enabled in my demo. I don't have a way to do that, but it would have the ability to put in a credit card number and process that actual payment if they chose to do that. If there's nothing owed, then that that credit card wouldn't even appear here, right? If the balance do a zero, they could just go in here. And uh, so, um, and then, like I mentioned, kind of scheduled emails. So we do have scheduled emails. You can come in and um, you could say, all right, two days before their arrival, I want to send them this email, welcoming them to the area, and click here to check the weather or you know, whatever. I always talk about three, Two main for sure communication you need to be sending every guest, you know, pre-arrival, however many days before. Uh, a lot of people do two pre-arrivals, like a week before and then maybe the day before. And then, of course, the after they leave, you know, a lot of times it's the day after they check out. Um, you send a thank you letter, request for, you know, reviews, all of those things. Um, and then I also, you know, recommend, hey, the the morning they wake up to an email that's customized to them. Hi, Joe. Thanks for um, thanks for staying your first night with us. You know how was everything? Make sure you um, you know let us know if there's any issues. With you. So you can have these certain schedules go out at a certain time of the day. So like at 5 a.m. You know one day after their arrival date, right? So they wake up to that email. 
Um, and then the booking engine, I did talk about, I know not everybody was on here when I first started this, but I did talk about the booking engine and different options. This is kind of where you set it up. When we launch someone on our system, we sort of build their theme for them. So we make it look like your website, we design all that stuff, but there are some, you know, you could redesign it if you want. Um, if you've got a new website and your web uh, people wanted to take care of that, we allow that. Um, whether you want to show again on my website, I was showing by unit type, but you could display by unit. So these are the different options there. Some cool settings you have, of course, do you want to take same day bookings? And if so, do you want to cut it off at a certain time? Um, you know, all of that good stuff. Do you want to allow reservations? Some people just want to display availability only, not take all my reservations. Um, so we have all of those options, full calendar, whether you want to show that, um, all of that good stuff. And then the integrations tab, this is where um, we have different integrations with OTAs, Google Hotels, um, soon to be released, QuickBooks integration, different things like that. So, um, at this point, I don't see any questions. So I just kind of wanted to go through uh, a recap. Um, if I get back to the slideshow here. So just to recap, we offer a few different things. We offer digital marketing, we do websites, and then we also, uh, what I covered mostly is the software, which includes the booking engine, that back backend software, OTA connections, et cetera. Uh, I wanted to touch on that guest experience platform because this is really cool. Uh, a lot of people ask questions when I show that. So it's powered by Akia. It's, it's a two-way full communication. So People can be texting you and it's like a chat for you. It can do door lock integration, all that good stuff. Um, and we've been getting rave reviews here, right? So Captera is kind of our Google <laughs> review. Everybody strives to have great Google reviews. Uh, Captera is a software kind of review site um, where people can go and put uh, reviews of our software. And these are just kind of um, some of what our customer says. The, no, the, the one and two things we always hear, super easy to use and your support is amazing. Um, you know, you'll see that in almost everything. If you go out to Captera, you'll see that in almost every. Um, I did want to touch on this. We are big on education. So registream.com slash education. You can go out there, you can read blogs, you can watch previous webinars that we've done. Um, we've got, you know, webinars that are currently scheduled to, um, you know, we just did one on Google hotels, different things like that. So check it out. Even if you're not interested in our stuff, we, we love educating as much as possible. So anyone that is attending, viewing this uh, presentation, I got a special offer. If anyone goes to our uh, website, registream.com, signs up for a one-on-one -on -one demo by next Friday, I'm just gonna give you a $10 Amazon gift card just as a thank you. Uh, I always like to throw something in these webinars because I'm taking up you know, close to an hour of your time. Uh, and then of course, if you do move forward and keep going and you actually purchase from us, Again, I kind of touched on that marketing and websites and software. So we call it our suite of solutions. And so, of course, we package that up into a better price, we have pricing, but we also will offer, you know, additional savings for people on this webinar um, if you do it by July 31st. So um, I appreciate everyone's time. And so far, I have not had any questions so this is going to be the last you know few minutes to put in any questions that you want uh, but if you have any questions you can always email that's the sales at registry.com that's our general phone number you can call in ask questions again you can go to our website there's actually a free trial on our website so if you don't want to do another demo you saw it you just kind of want to play around with your own sort of trial version, we offer that on our website as well. So head out to registream.com and just kind of check things out.
out. So um, with that, I didn't have anybody ask any more questions. I do want to let you know there will be a survey after this. This just kind of tells us how did I do? Um, did you enjoy the webinar? Did you learn anything? Um, you know, this is a little bit different. It wasn't purely educational. It was more sales focused, but I really appreciate you spending 45 minutes with me. Um, I'd love to talk to you more if you're interested. And if you're not, that's fine too. Go check out our education. So thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.